Welcome Builders, and it is Yodi here, and welcome to Season 4. I think it's Season 4. I've done lots of village transformations. Anyway, this is a brand new village transformation. Let's have a look at the village. Here it is right here. And this is going to be a village transformation with a difference. We're going to do it in situ, which means kind of in location. Transform a real village without just like plucking a village, taking it out like I did previously. I kind of take a house, I take a building, the church, the L-shaped house, the butchers, take it away, expand it, make it bigger. It doesn't even fit in the village anymore. So what I want to do is take the these uh, builds exactly how they are and transform them. I'm going to transform this L-shaped house, which is joined onto this 5x5 five five house today. Let me show you what I came up with. Uh, the example is over here. So this is what we're going to be building today. As you can see, they are in place. I haven't moved them. So what we'll do in this tutorial is kind of develop a set of rules that hopefully we'll be able to use throughout the whole village to transform it building by building section by section so that it still looks like a Mojang village. It still uses the five by five building system, which I love, oops. And it still is a system where the builds are next to each other and we could use it on whatever village that you come across, you could transform it. Um, I've had some of my patrons come on and help me. I think Burger Guy was doing that one over here. He's made it a bit, a bit of a floater. And Dark Saber was making a nice coral wall around his um, village. So yeah, we're looking at transforming some more villages using the Minecraft 1.13 update, using some of the Minecraft 1.13 blocks and trying to make it look cool. We've got some little um, funguses growing out this wood here, which I love, some dried kelp kind of drying in the sun. And we've got this extra little space in here with some dead horny coral on the floor to store all your gubbins. Uh, we've got a little uh, door here, obviously, as well. But then when you go up here, you can go through and you end up in this little cool space here. And you can even climb down as well. And it's got little um, doors and whatnot. It looks kind of cool. Look, pop, pop. looks like an open window as well. I like this little transformation. Right, let's get it built. Here is the two builds isolated from the village so I can show you exactly how this works. First of all, let's have a look at the ingredients that we're gonna use in this. Now, if you'd like an extra guide to exactly how many blocks I'm going to be putting into this build and some extra screenshots and guides, I'm gonna be preparing a little document and putting it on my patreon.com forward slash Andy If you wanna support my channel for just $1, you get an exact guide, extra pictures, and a block count on my Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Andy is Yoda for extra details and tips about this build and more. Um, right, so you're gonna need some spruce slabs, some coral fans, any ones you want, a rail, some dried kelp blocks, some acacia logs and ladders. You're gonna need birch fences, some dead horny coral block and also dead brainy coral block. You're gonna need some spruce stairs, got it twice, don't know why. Um, some peacicles, a couple of chests might be handy as well. Uh, but these are the main ones we're going to build with starting off right now. So we're going to use some stripped oak log, some dead brainy coral, smooth stone. If you haven't got smooth stone, I would say polished andesite is pretty good as well. We'll grab a couple of iron bars, a door, and let's grab these trap doors as well. Acacia and spruce, and also this cobblestone stair and an oak slab. That should get us started, I would have thought. Okay, what we're going to do is count up... Hmm, nine, I think. Nine's a magic number. Maybe nine or ten. Let's go nine. So here, knock out that corner, and then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Same on these corners as well. All the way up to nine blocks high. That's nine. Just check here, double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Excellent. We'll get rid of this fence here as well. So this is a little change to the roof here. Oh, and the 5x5 five five house is lined up. If, you, if yours isn't quite lined up, I would try this tutorial anyway and just see what happens. It's really quite cool if things are not perfectly lined up. If you want to line this up perfectly, build yourself a little 5x5 five five house exactly with a corner opposite the door to the L-shaped house. So that's the L-shaped house. You can see they've got the door and then the 5x5 five five lined up. And the, Sorry, yeah, the 5x5 five five house lined up. The great thing about this is... I think the really great thing about this is... Um, the 5x5 five five system really fits in so nicely with the path. You see, you've got that block there, you've got that block there. That's five blocks in, in width because the paths in Minecraft are three wide. It just all works out. Right, alternate blocks with your smooth stone. Again, you could use polished Andy's Yodocite if you wish. I've got to do this all the way around. 
Oh, not you there, not you there. And you've got to gill in all these little faps with dead brainy coral blocks. Here we go. So I love using the dead brainy coral. It's one of the biggest advantages. And you can pick it without silk touch. There's an ordinary pickaxe. Um, that's going to be a door, in fact. And that's going to be a door as well. Yeah, an ordinary pickaxe will pick coral. If it's living coral, it just turns to dead really quickly as well. So you just pick it with an ordinary pickaxe and you can build with it. It looks like kind of bricks and mortar or stones set in some sort of lime mortar like that. Kind of looks oldy worldy medievally. I like it. I like it. Um, so once you've done that, I'm going to go for some cobblestone stairs. I'm just going to wrap these round upside down. At the very top. Once that's done, grab your smooth stone and then put on an extra ring of smooth stone around the top. And then some crenellations like this. So you're probably struggling to catch up if you're following along, so I'll just pause for a few seconds, let you catch up, switch to oak slab, which is what I need next. And the oak slab is gonna form a little bit of a floor right here. Don't forget a space for a ladder as well. It would be nice to have a little ladder. Let's just do the ladder right now. Let's do the ladder right now. And I'm also gonna grab some birch fence and I'm gonna put a, a flag on top with some yellow wool. So let's put in the little ladder. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. And there's a little ladder there already, so that's good. Um, yeah, flag, seven up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and yellow wool goes there. Not bad so far, not bad so far. Let me know how flexible you think this system is. Do you think we could use this in other parts of the village? I hope to. I hope to bring out more videos where we transform more parts of this village. This is a real village, by the way. A real village. I took a, a, a map. I'll provide the seed and the coordinates to this village in my Patreon document as well. So $1, check it out, patreon.com, and you get the extra guide to build this. It may not be available for the first hour after the video is released because I'll still be writing it, but um, it will be released very, very soon on my Patreon. Okay. Um... Yeah, this is looking cool so far. Absolutely no complaints whatsoever. I think I'm actually going to take out... Am I going to take out this wood? No, I think I'm going to leave that wood in there. I just don't want to change too much. Don't want to change too much of this build. Okay, so what do we need next? Let's go back and grab the next ingredient. So, um, door, iron bars, these trap doors, stripped oak log. We're going to need some more of these. Uh, slabs, oak slabs and birch fences. Okay, here we go. So... The five by five building system. One, two, three, and I'm gonna come up here. One, two, three, four, like that. The five by five building system, making little five by five shapes. Little five by five shapes, I like it. That one should definitely be upright, like that. Let's have another one right here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And just keep on making these little shapes so it adds a little bit of extra around the tower. A really good way of adapting the five by five build. And what I like about this transformation is things still look like the old Mojang village. You know, the five by five still looks like a five by five if you get in there to see. It still looks like a five by five and that still looks like an L-shaped house. So you don't wanna change things too much. I see a lot of tutorials on YouTube where people have just changed things way too much and it's just, you might as well start with a new build. It just doesn't look good. Anyway, um, fill in some floors with some slabs, oak slabs or your choice of slab, doesn't really matter whichever one you want. We're gonna go for a spruce door here, like that. You can, if you want, you can put the door there. I think it looks quite good there as well. Okay, let's wrap some birch fence around this as well. It just strikes me, you've got an option. You could do this, by the way, you could do that. Let's do that, let's do that. That looks quite cool as well, I think. Yeah, really smart, really smart, boom. Good thinking, good thinking, good thinking, good thinking. Right, um, let's grab, let's do some of the outside of this build first. Let's grab some dead horny coral block. And what I wanna do is just take away, strip all this grass out all the way around, these bits as well. Uh, maybe not you, maybe, maybe not you. Right, and then just fill all this in with some dead horny coral block. Any block would do with this. Like, it might be quite good to put smooth stone down here as well. Um, I just wanted this to look like it was kind of a working area here. 
storage yard, that kind of thing. Right, once we're in here, we can go for some spruce trap doors. We're going to go one, two, three, 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 one, two, see out I like it boom 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 awesome all right that's excellent right let's also put some slabs uh, here 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 not there and there so that's the build so far all we've got to do is join it up to the main L shaped house so how are we gonna do that well first of all let's put on just a few more details here I'm gonna go there there and there. I'm going to make another little five by five, kind of an, a bit of an animal pen this time, bit of an animal pen, okay? So something like this would be pretty cool. You could, of course, make this bigger, you could expand it, something like that. I'm actually going to take, hmm, going to put that there, put that there. Yeah, let's grab some gates. I think I've got a gate here, so we're going to go for just a spruce fence gate. Going to go here here and here okay so you've you came out your house here you've got a gate there to get into that animal pen a gate here to get kind of outside and a gate into that animal pen as well the reason I'm kind of just taking these blocks away is because look we've put down this uh, I like this I love this I think this is really cool let me just pick up the blocks here we've got acacia logs and sea pickles and some dead chubby coral fan. Any sort of coral fan w works well. And it just looks like bracket fungus. The fungus is if you've left your logs here for quite a while, you were gonna turn them into planks, but you didn't turn them into planks. You just left them there for quite a while and it's sort of become part of the furniture. You're never gonna use them. And also some kelp kind of drying in the sun as well. Really, really nice details using the 1.3 Minecraft Aquatic Update blocks. So I'm just going to slap these logs down here as if you'd cut them a while ago, like that. Don't worry about counting these, just put put them down so they look good. Something like that, maybe something like this would look cool. You could use the all over acacia blocks as well. Um, I think they look really good as well, but that would do. Different from the ones I did over there, but that's fine. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter at all. I just like the way they look and then you put some some fan corals. You can choose different corals from what I've got as well. This looks like fungus, and fungus grows all over. I just love the noise. Ha! <laughs> squelch, squelch, squelch. Fungus grows all over fallen wood. I know. I work with. I work in the woodland all the time. <laughs> it's fallen wood everywhere, and there's fungus everywhere. Okay, some dried kelp you could put in as well for a bit of three, four, five. A smidge in the detail, so it's five by three. One on top, and then just add the rails like that. Woohoo! Love it, love it, love it, love it. Right, now, the moment of truth. We've got to add, <laughs> take our 5x5 five five system and add it to this tower so that it joins up to the L-shaped house. One of the jobs you might want to do very, very first is come into the L-shaped house and get rid of these extra blocks that Mojang loves to put in, but they just waste space kind of thing. So you can get rid of all these blocks. Don't worry if you don't know which blocks are which. Just keep whacking, and if it's a stair, yeah, you shouldn't have deleted it. Don't delete the stairs, just delete the solid uh, oak wood planks. And if you're doing it in survival, then, oh no! If you're doing it in survival, then you get some free planks, obviously. Obviously. So that looks good. On the inside, that is kind of fine. Do you know what you might want to do? Is move the doors so they're opposite? Nah, nah. Stupid idea, stupid idea. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Right, let's clear the inventory and grab some blocks. So we're going to grab some stripped oak wood log, more spruce trap doors, acacia doors, uh, an ordinary door, any door you like, actually. Um, a chest is good as well. Some more flooring with the oak slabs. And I think that's about it. Oh, we shall need um, birch fences and a ladder. So we've got oak as wood as slabus, birch as fences, ladders, stripped oak log, spruce trapidorus maximus, acacia trapidorus maximus, spruce doors, and a couple of little hidden chests secret, which we're gonna put in a little bit later on. All right, um, what we wanna do is find this block here. So that, you can see how that one comes out there. This one 
comes out by three as well. Continuing our five by five. And then we're gonna go one, two, three. One, two, three, just that, just one, two, three, like that. And then we're gonna, here we're gonna go one, two, three. So it's a bit of a, a lower down section. It should end up being the same size. Let me just triple double check five times that this is, is this correct? Yeah, it just goes up one, two, three. Mmm, just goes up one, two, three. Yes, gotta get this right, gotta get this right. Uh, like that, that's, that's fine. We don't have any bits coming across, do we? Is that right? Let me just quickly check. We do have some bits coming across. Ooh, we do have some bits coming across. I knew this, I knew this. Double checking, I wanna make sure that uh, the tutorial is absolutely correct. I think this comes up another block. Yeah, it's three higher than this level. Three higher than this level. Then we can come across like that. Then we can come across and we can come across like that. Okay. Yeah, that's the kind of detail to get exactly right. I had to really concentrate. Oh my goodness, I had to really concentrate on that bit there. Right, let's extend it. One, two, three. One, two, three. And it should take you to this block here. And we can come right down into the build and just come straight up. And it provides a little ladder place as well. So don't worry about taking up space in the middle of the build. It's actually a pretty cool way of doing things. It just looks a lot better. Same with this one as well. Just bring that right up to there. And that gets us our overall frame, our little five by five frame. I love it. Do you love it? I love it already. Um, so let me grab some um, oak slabs and we can put in a bit of a floor right here. Cool. Right, so we've got some digging out to do. We can get rid of you, 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 you. Uh, this can be turned into the solid blocks, like that. Uh, we need to get rid of you, 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 you. One, two, three, like that. Um, we can extend this floor with little slab barunos here. I don't know why I said that, it's fairly embarrassing. Um, oh, we need to get rid of this block as well, and this block and this block. There we go, pretty cool. You can extend the floor that way, you can extend the floor that way, that way as well. Um, and these blocks can go as well. I forgot to get rid of those blocks, did I? Oh no, 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 not, not that one. Not that one. That's a stair. So yeah, this is what it should look like so far. We can extend this and this as well. And we can put a ladder up to get up into this spot as well. So if I just show you like that. Quite, quite a lot of space up here actually. So the chests, did you guess? The chests go in there and you can even put single chest as well by holding down shift on a PC, which looks really, really cool. I love that. Whew, all right, um, let's get rid of, hmm. Let's put some trap doors here, 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 and an acacia one there, and that lets you see out that gap. Same kind of thing over here. One, two, three, one, two, and then acacia see out that gap there and also your chests are kind of hidden as well secret chests we love it and acacia uh, over here you can do this as well like that you could put them on the outside as well um, these these ones could go on the outside let me just kind of show you what I mean now before I do that we're going to do this corner here so come over here Come up to there, come across, and this one just comes across as well. One, two, three. And we've got ourselves another little five by five area. Very cute. Seal the deal in here on the floor, and birch fence along here, 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 and here. There we go. Quite fast I'm doing this tutorial, but you can easily pause the video and you can also download the, the guide. What I mean by on the outside with the trapdoors is you could put the trapdoors on the outside like that if you look, if you like. Just added an extra kind of touch of detail. The great thing about doing it with the doors is when you put the door uh, when you put the door there, you got the door a little bit recessed in. And I like how that door is kind of recessed in there, a little bit of depth. Doesn't that look cool? That little kind of hinge. Ah, love it. Over here as well, you could put another little acacia trap door if you want to see people coming down the street. And that is pretty much it, I think. We're going to put on a roof now. And that is us done. So yeah, let's stick on a little roof. So we're going to go Key block there, 
And there, once those key blocks are in place, then it's just a simple question of bringing your wood along there. You can do this turn as well if you want, an extra little bit of aesthetic detail. Roof along here, there, there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we just build up the roof like that. So let me do the same on the other side. Turn that one there. This one comes along like that. Let me know if you build it. Send me pictures of your build on Instagram. I reply to all messages on Instagram. So you can message me, ask me questions about Minecraft. And you can send me pictures of what you've been building and what you've been working on in Minecraft. That one can go upside down. We can turn face out the way with a correct the way up seat. And then we can go upside down there. Uh, we need a slab, a wooden slab, specifically spruce wood slab, and that should come along. And if you've done everything correctly, doesn't matter if you haven't, you should see a little one and a half gap of dead brainy coral like that. So yeah, just remains for maybe a little bit uh, more detail. You can put some of these bracket funguses as if your whole build is starting to rot <laughs> as well. Um, and that is it. Ooh, there's one detail I forgot, nearly forgot. Ooh, glad I remembered this. You could put in a little window here with some bars. It looks quite cool on the tower to have kind of a more fortified feel on the tower. And that, that is us. How sweet is it in here? You could even put some more chests sticking up there. Uh, is there. This is a really, really cool little house now. A little survival base. Oh, by the way, up here, you could leave it open. Or maybe do something like some acacia planks. Because that looks good as well. Oh, I enjoy transforming Minecraft villages. Hopefully you do as well. If you enjoyed this, then please be sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. By the way, you can do this. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. And do check out my Patreon, patreon.com, because there's not just downloads of building guides. You can build with me in live streams. You can download all my builds, including this one every month. And you can get coaching, coaching on my server if you've got a PC as well. This is optional here. This is really optional, just adding little bits to the L-shaped house. Kind of optional if you want to do it. I don't know. It, you might think it spoils the look of the, the L-shaped house, spoils the Mojang feel. And that's a valid argument I would have... I would have thought we can come here and do the same thing. Whoops. Like that. So hopefully you can follow this tutorial or you can use the kind of the guiding principles to transform your own Minecraft village, transform a part of it where you've got a five by five house joining onto any other house and use these kind of principles to make up your own build. So that fits really nicely into the main village. I'll be back very soon with another transformation on this village here. See if we can make it look even better. Which bit should we do next? We've got L-shaped houses, butchers' houses, churches. Ooh, you can see a sneak preview of what I've been working on over there. Oh, can't show you that though. Can't show you that. That's another video. I'm just thinking, do you know, I'm just thinking here you could add on balconies. Ooh, you could add on little balconies here. That would actually look, do you know what? That would look really, really cool. So this is not an official part of the tutorial, <laughs> but you could, you could add little unofficial balconies there. There's so much to do, so many things you can play with. I actually really like that. I actually really like that. It's an extra little walkway. What do you think? You can make that a door, you see. Haha, <laughs> just awesome. Right, thanks for watching. That'll do for now. Ciao, ciao, with the blocks. Be with you. By the way, if you want to get your name in my video for free, check out Recharge with three A's, recharge.com forward slash Andy Zoda. Get your name in my video. Shout out and thank you to my top donors uh, so far. Tommy14, Joe15, Cry, Crazyman, Minecrafting, Christina and Jake. Thanks, guys.